G'day everyone, Billy here, Saturday today. About the 9th of March, I think. Anyway, fellas, I'm back out there. One of the local country rubbish dumps. And beautiful rainy weather. We've had a nice bit of rain the last two days, fellas. So it's the first time it's rained for about probably two and a half to three months. So beautiful for the garden. So hopefully we'll find some nice stuff. Gardening stuff, rocks, logs, scrap, trash and treasure like last time I was here. Can't guarantee anything fellas, once again I didn't come over yesterday so I could have missed out on stuff. But we'll soon find out, we'll see who's working today, Kayla or a dad. Kayla, oh no, yep, Kayla. We'll just keep going guys, we'll come back. Oh, I can see something old here, an old... Another, another toilet guys. Anyway. Look at this fellas. Beautiful toilets. Look, brand new again guys, brand new toilets. Brand new toilets. What's this one, guys? An old hedge trimmer or a um, grass trimmer. Electric powered. I won't pick it up guys, I mean the motors, I could easily take that motor, we'll see. We might come back later and pick up that motor. <coughs> Aluminium pot. Just for the scrap fellas. These toilets. I, think I won't be picking those up guys, but... Who knows, I might be fellas, they're brand new toilets. They've only just been sitting out in the rain fellas, I think. Starting to pour down for rain now guys. What else is here? I am after some nice knobs for my oven at home, but better ones than this. My other ones at home are getting a bit yellow from the heat, more aluminium pot. This rain is absolutely beautiful guys. Great for my frogs, tadpoles. The worst thing obviously about this rain is when you come out scrapping all the beautiful trash and treasure you find gets destroyed. I'm gonna take this apart later. This is stainless steel. This section isn't, so always carry a magnet guys. If it's magnetic, the magnet sticks to this, it's not stainless. Even though it looks nice and shiny and stainless, it's not. But this one is, the magnet doesn't stick to this. Some more aluminium here. I mean, I could easily pick that up, fellas, but it's just... It's only kind of like lightweight. Aluminium, it doesn't really weigh that much, probably weighs about two or three kilos. So, that big piece of aluminium, those solar powered old solar heaters, what go on the roof, they're only worth about like three bucks each. So, is it really worth picking it up? It does add up after a while. Nice old retro chair here, guys, it's stuffed. No. Anything in the fridge? The freezer? No. I could snip off the cord. Guys, I might do that later.
Oh, that's about it here, fellas. It's not looking... Oh, there's aluminium door here. Door. Be nothing, nothing wrong with it, fellas. Beautiful door. Just fix up a brand new, you know, new fly screen. Sell it for 50 bucks. On eBay or Gumtree or whatever, guys. Oh, well, it's broken now. Just a bit of extrusion, aluminium. I'll come back and pick up those. Piece of cast aluminium. Not much else here, fellas. Motors and the washing machines and dryers. If there are, I only grab the motors, fellas, if they're easy, easy to um, get to. Anyway, don't know about <laughs> those toilets, fellas. I mean, I reckon they're brand new. They've just been sitting outside in the shed or something. Keep going. We'll come back and pick up that stuff, fellas. There's no real scrappers around this area, which is very surprising. There's a couple. That's my breakfast at iced coffee. Uh, I can feel that it has. I don't really drink many of those iced coffees, fellas. During summer, about one a week. I used to drink them nearly every day during summer, but get too much caffeine. Just a bit of a treat, and it lines my stomach, takes away those hunger pains. I do have breakfast. I only had a slice of bread and butter and jam today for breakfast. But usually when I come over here, I'll grab a nice Aussie meat pie for lunch or something, or fish and chips. Right, it's been freshly bulldozed again, fellas. All those beautiful relics I found the other day. They've all been buried. There's a little bit of stuff up there, we'll go up there in a minute. But anyway, all these cars are being taken apart, so I did a video on that, so maybe someone saw the video. Motorbike here, guys. Probably, probably easily fixable too, fellas. So we'll just see what's up here, fellas. I just gotta be careful, my phone's getting pretty wet. A few things here I put to one side, nothing special guys. Beautiful golf clubs right there. They're just a nice trolley. I have got quite a few of these trolleys at home fellas, but there's nothing wrong with that. Just find the wheels. Beautiful new trolley and that bit of stainless steel I put from last put aside last time. Anyway, look at these beautiful golf clubs fellas. We'll grab those eh? and we'll give them to the <laughs> some beautiful clubs there too. I'll show you some beautiful expensive golf clubs there fellas I think look at these never heard of that oh what's that I'm no golf expert fellas Gilla zone some old ones always if you come across golf clubs fellas these are worth money the putters some about three or four putters in here so never ever scrap your putters if you find golf clubs never scrap the putters fellas they're always sought after so obviously people want to be practicing their golf putting and so forth but we'll take those guys and I'll take those golf putters and I'll give the rest of these to my local golf club so come in handy when visitors go to the play golf and they forget the golf clubs or so forth, you know what I mean. So let's go for a walk up here, guys. And back there, there's really stuff I missed as well. So this is where I found those beautiful old antique bottles the other day, guys. A big load of soil has been dumped on top of them now. It's a nice surfboard here. Or a canoe. Surf ski. It's damaged. Slightly, just a crack, but it's easily fixable, fellas. I mean, I wouldn't take that, but it's a beautiful kayak. 
Let's see if I can take it out and show you. Easily fixable, fellas. There's nothing wrong with this beautiful kayak. It's got a couple of holes in it. This is stuff people throw out, fellas. Just an example. I mean, it has got a hole in it. But, you know, people fix these, sell them. And I found more stuff in here too the other day. Anyway, let's go for a walk up here, eh? We'll go for a walk on the side of the mound. See if there's any nice trash and treasure, what's being pushed over the side. So I'm after some of these as well, fellas. Some nice bags like this for my worm farms. I like, I'd use willy bins, the big green willy bins for worm farms, and they've got cracks in them. So when I... So what happens obviously when I put water in those willy bins to moisten the soil or the water runs out. So I just want some nice shearing shed wool bales or some nice canvas bags just to put inside my willy bins to kind of make it a little bit waterproof. Not much else here fellas but there's a bit of stuff upstairs. A lantern I found the other day. I forgot this. Scrap, paint it, or sell it. I don't know. Probably 1950s era, 1960s era lantern. One little thing missing window. So we'll go up here, fellas, and just see what's up here. Doesn't look like much. Like I said last time, fellas, underneath all this soil where I'm working right now, it's all domestic waste and beautiful antiques and treasure relics. As I always say, fellas, it's not just here, it's all over the world. All these beautiful antiques and stuff just get thrown out. History. Nothing really here, fellas. These plastic, plastic bags, all those plastic bags going to waste. So right, we'll just go over here, guys. Milk crate, possibly a beautiful old box. Beautiful old box, guys. Is it embossed? No, no embossing on that box. Some milk crates come in handy for bottles and storing stuff. That's what I'm after too, fellas. See that there? I'm after those, they perfect for storing my drinking rainwater. So, pretty about the box, guys. It's not embossed. It's a beautiful box, but we'll chuck it down there so I might pick it up. Will I break it? <gasps> Hopefully, I didn't chip that. Garden pots is what I'm after, but smaller, the hundreds of these for trees, planting trees. So, it's been pretty quiet, obviously, today, fellas, but I can guarantee it's probably a bit all been bulldozed. Let's have a look at these bags, fellas. You find stuff in them. Farmers do their big clean out, so this is full of those bags that I need. So that's full of those bags that I need. Let's see. And old golf clubs. 
I don't want them. Just an old golf club caddy thing. Not much else for you fellas, so we'll go up here for a walk. Beautiful camping stove. Nothing wrong with it guys, brand new. But we've never been used. Aluminium pot, just a bit of scrap. It's a nice heavy one too. What's this fellas. in the purse. Be careful of syringes fellas if you ever open up purses. I have seen syringes in handbags and so forth before. I always forget to wear my gloves. Hey guys, but all of this landfill right here is full of uh, beautiful trash and treasure. So this is the oldest section. So when I first started coming out here, fellas, this was being used to dump the normal household rubbish, trash and treasure and all that kind of stuff. And all this is probably around a year old. A lot of snakes out this place as well, so you just gotta be careful lifting up sheets of paper and cardboard and that kind of stuff. Let's see, fellas. Look at that. Make sure that's a beautiful outdoor table, guys. Beautiful outdoor table. Picnic table. Oh no, oh it is too. No, it's destroyed. Nothing exciting today fellas, but it's always good to say, show you guys what these dumps are like in rural Australia. Is that old massage chair thing. I tried to grab this ceramic um, bowl here the other day, guys, but unfortunately it's pretty well stuck in there. It's been glued to this fiberglass. See where I've tried to hit it? Tried to smash this fiberglass. I get that would have been perfect for a little bird bath or a fish pond. More aluminium in there. Yep. It's all stuck in there, fellas, impossible to get to. Old TV here, guys. Old TV. So that's about it fellas, we'll go down to the garden waste section and I'll come back later and pick up the rest of this stuff that we've come across. Old organ. There's steel. Oh, 
pick up this crate and this bottle first before I forget them. I forgot a couple of things last time I was halfway home, fellas. That's just cleanable, guys. Halfway home and I realised I left some beautiful old 1960s slash 70s of Toshiba tape recorder here and an old stereo so I could drive all the way back because I knew that rain was coming. So, Alright guys, we'll go down the garden waste section I'll hide, hide these. Not that anyone's going to take them but just in case. But nothing special today guys, it's kind of to be expected sometimes. appreciate all my new subscribers fellas I've been getting quite a few lately averaging around 11 new subscribers in the last month or so so 8,000 subscribers but hardly anyone watches my videos I don't know why you guys subscribe to me maybe a lot of people subscribe to me if they want to see me do some stupid go a bit crazy Like I say, fellas, I'm always being watched by locals. I come from a small country town and everyone knows me and you're always being watched by people. Even the police are watching me, fellas. Even the cops. But no, it's all been freshly bulldozed, guys. All been bulldozed. As I said last time, fellas, when this gets bulldozed, I'll burn all this. And I also find a lot of nice stuff after they burn all this area here. So, we'll just have a quick look, guys, see if there's anything here. Rocks, logs. Fruit. What's that one called again? A quince. I got it wrong last time I said it was a pear, but it's actually a quince. I knew that I'd got it wrong too, fellas, when I said pear, but I just couldn't think about what it was. You don't really see too many of those quinces around. Not much here, but as I always say, fellas, you always find nice lemons. I mean, these are the limes. Probably a lemon. Always find plenty of nice fruit out here. So that's it, guys. We'll take you up to one more area the big bins. So, I was here last week, fellas. So, I was so lucky I saved that beautiful old antique wooden box and the other things I found the beautiful 1800s Christmas card. As you can just imagine all this stuff, what I must miss out on, it doesn't matter. Sometimes it's good too, fellas, not to find too much stuff, because as I say, it gets pretty overwhelming when you bring in Oils, junk home. So, it'll be good not to bring so much junk home today. There's also an old stereo and TV section here too, fellas. I scored a nice old video recorder here the other day. Always look out for the old video recorders. They're very collectible in there. So the video recorder, what I found was one of those ones what you can tape from VCR to CD or DVD. So we'll end this video in a minute, guys. We'll just have a look at these bins and don't think there's going to be much in there. Angle grinding disc there, guys. Yeah. Always good to find the angle grinding discs. 
I always come across these. And these are always good to find. They're worth about buddy five bucks each, fellas, those big ones. Three to five dollars each. So if there's one in there, there's probably about ten in there, fellas. And there's one of those bags I need. And someone's been putting in a new ceiling in the house or plaster. So anyway, fellas, that's it. Nothing special today, but anyway, I appreciate you watching the video and got a couple of things, guys. But also, I'll be heading over to where my old alcoholic mate, Brad, used to live. So Brad was a really, really bad alcoholic, guys. He lives about 200 metres through there. He doesn't live there anymore, fellas. He's basically been locked up into in a hospital and he hasn't had a drink for about six months. But anyway, I spoke to the owner of the property where Brad used to live and it's a heap of car batteries and electrical motors over there. So we might go over there later and pick those up and I'll do a story about Brad. I'll give you a proper update about Brad, the, the God-hating atheist alcoholic. Really, really sick man, fellas. Really, really sick. I tried to help him and I think it worked. I think it worked, guys. Said a few prayers to God to get Brad some help and he finally got some help fellas he nearly died and someone stepped in and yeah he's basically locked up in a hospital at the moment for the last six months so I'll give you an update on Brad very shortly all right fellas we'll go back up there and see what else we can find and pick up the other stuff what I put to one side we might find some other stuff see you guys